Coconut. No. No. <laughs> no. I know what you're doing. No. Ah! Immediately we knew like, there's nothing that can stop her. Exactly real slow. Oh my god, oh my god. The coconut, please. She ain't me. She is the beast. <laughs> she anticipates our moves. We'll be going into a room and she's already in there waiting. And it's startling when you go to go to the bathroom and she's standing there like, I'm waiting for you. Please spare me. I beg for mercy. Please. It never works. Are you gonna be good Koki? Or are you gonna be a bad Koki? There's nothing I could do. I just have to accept my fate. Let's all take a deep breath, okay? Oh my god! If she had a horror movie comparison, it would be Pennywise from It. Don't do it! It's something about her eyes. Who was this? She has human eyes. No, have mercy! I'd say what's going on through her brain is I'm going to take their souls oh, right now. <laughs> I definitely sometimes feel like I'm in a horror movie, especially late at night when she's coming around the corners and staring at me. <laughs> it feels kind of Michael Myers-esque. One day we decide, okay, we're gonna stalk you back and see how you like it. She loves it. She thinks Please, it's a game. Just one pet. Just one let me pet you! Let me pet you! Let me pet you, please! Coconut! I think she thinks it's funny that we even think to challenge her and her power. We face off, Koki. We face off now. I definitely hope that one day there will be peace in the house. I don't think that's very likely. I think she will always be a beast, but she's our beast, so we love her. We love her antics. We love her hunger for souls. Please, just, just spare me this once, please. Coconut, please, please. Even if she never stops with the beastliness, we will always have a spot in our hearts for her. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop.